conditions sometimes. Do you like living up there? Um, in the wintertime, I don't like living up there. Uh, it snows a lot. It's cold. One time it even snowed in October during the practice. So it was kind of hard making the transition. But um, it, I knew it was something that I had to do if I wanted to play football. So I just uh, manned up and took, took what I had to do. What do you think as a Florida kid that's snowing in October? What, what was your first reaction? I couldn't believe it. I, I, I was like, do they really want us to practice in this right now? <laughs> I didn't think, I thought we were going to call practice, but we were practicing in, like, full-out snow in October. On the other hand, I imagine when the other players are complaining about the heat in August, that uh, sort of thing, you're probably like, this is not, not much at all. Yeah, uh, they tease me a lot. Uh, sometimes the heat still gets to me. I'm like, man, it's hot. They're like, um, you're from Florida, you should be used to it. I'm like, yeah, I know, but, you know, it's still heat. Did you grow up a Florida State fan or not? Yeah, my dad was a big Florida State fan. Everything was Florida State, and that's the college I grew up wanting to go to, but things didn't work out that way. But I feel like my dad's still proud of me, and he still gets to go inside the Florida State venue, so it all worked out. Well, you, when you, were, you were probably like seven, eight years old in their heyday watching them. Did you watch them on TV a lot? What do you oh, think yeah. of those guys? I watch Florida State all the time, man. Growing up, that was just a tradition that I wanted to be a part of, but it didn't work out that way, but it's, everything's still working out for the good right now. You had at least one big game uh, at Florida State, right? Yeah. So, what year was that for you? Uh, freshman year. Freshman year? Yeah. That was kind of my coming out party, Florida State. Um, it was just good to perform well, and my dad being there and my family, it just meant a lot to me. What do you think of the pregame ceremony and all that? I mean, you're the first time you played there. Was that a I big mean, deal to you? Yeah, it was a big deal because um, seeing it on TV and actually going um, on unofficial visits there, watching the games and all the tradition, I wanted to be a part of it. So it was pretty big pregame. That just got me extra hyped up before the game. I think it's just the You um, what was the in high school with Jamie Harper, right? What was the split in carries like that? Um, it was fun in high school splitting carries. It was one run to the left, one run to the right. So it was pretty balanced coming out of high school, uh, me and Jamie splitting carries. So you guys pretty much were like a 50-50 in the backfield? Yeah, it was 50-50. Did you play at the same time? Yeah, it was a wing tee. So he was on the two back left side and I was on the right side. Was it frustrating at all, though? I mean, he was getting recruited by everybody coming out of high school. Was it, was it frustrating at all? To, 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 I'm sure there's some friendly competition. But you're saying that. Yeah, it was definitely friendly competition. But um, I wouldn't say it was frustrating. It was just... There's just... Like an uh, extra motivator. Like, I knew I was going to go to college and play somewhere. It was just what was I going to do when I got there, and that was the main, most important part. What's your, what do you think your running style is? Um, I would say I was a downhill um, power finisher runs, but I can mix it up in the open field. You think as you. I think get closer to this record. Um, Will you feel any pressure? Because so yeah, obviously, you know, people aren't going to let you forget, you know, how close you are. And you want to be able to escape that. So. Yeah. Um, I don't think it would be too much pressure because the whole time I've been in Boston College, I haven't been thinking about yards or touchdowns. I've been just thinking about playing and helping my team win. And so far, I've been successful in doing that and also being able to achieve some goals that I had. So I'm just going to keep playing football and see what happens at the end of the season. What do you think when people say that, that BC relies on you too much? That um, this year that they can't rely on you to the extent that they have in the past just because it's putting too much burden on you. Yeah, and um, I think a lot of people know that. And now I seem like I have a lot of help. Running backs, we are four deep at running back. We have me, Andre, Taj Kimball, and Roland and Finch, all great running backs. Uh, you, you can see all of those running backs play on Sunday. So this is, it's going to be fun this year, even in camp pushing each other in competition, making each other better. You had a coaching change there in the middle of your career. What was that like for you? 
what did you think when that all happened? Um, <laughs> it was, I think it was a little bit better than most coaches' uh, changes because we mostly, for the most part, kept the same staff. Only a couple of coaches were different, so I think they um, made a good transition. And it's not too much of a drop off because the BC way is the BC way, so we're still going to do things mostly the same. So it wasn't that much of a change. Did you do anything with your offensive line? Um, oh, yeah. Center with them or eat with them? Yeah, I try to take them out, especially when they have big games. I try to get them something to eat, take them to Chipotle or something. And um, uh, this whole offseason this summer, I've been working out with the offensive line, so just to make us come together as a whole. What's the tab like when you take them to Chipotle? <laughs> two burritos a piece is a good 100, 150. <laughs> yeah, they can't get more than two. You got a Yeah. So you have the ability to think of I'm sorry, because I'm sure it's been asked already, but you were committed to Duke right up until pretty close to signing there, right? Was it, what, what caused the switch? Um, I was, it sounds kind of selfish, but I was thinking about my future and uh, where would I be the most successful at. And um, Boston College is known more for football, and I just wanted to take take my talents in somewhere where I will be able to perform and have a chance to make it to the next Were they, were they going to play you at running back, or were they, I had read somewhere that they were thinking about putting you at defensive back. Yeah, that was up in the air, uh, me playing defensive back, but uh, when I committed, I was committed as a running back, so... Did, were you aware that uh, you said Boston College is a better like that, football, but were you aware that they were basically a running school whereas cut the federal reputation as a passing ball? Was that a factor? Um, I think if you know you were out of the playlist. Yeah, that was a factor because um, Boston College do some great running backs, and um, they're always known for smash mouth, hard nose, running the football, and that's what I like to be a part of. Did Clemson show much interest in you at all? Nah, they didn't show much interest. But uh, coaches would tell me that I was a, a good football player, and they would try to help me out as much as they could, but no solid offers were given. Showed about wearing some Jamie? Yeah. <laughs> How did you take that? <laughs> I mean, it's all, it's all a business, and it's all a part of football. So um, I always wasn't the fastest or the swiftest or whatever you want to call it, but I just know that it's, it's not going to stop just because someone didn't pick me up. Someone's going to come and look at me and give me a chance, and I just want to show them that they made the right choice for picking me up. I mean, you got to have a little bit of a chip on your shoulder, though, right? I mean, it had to feel good at Florida State and that thing when you're, when you're running the ball down the throat, running out the clock on them. And, I mean, surely there's a small oh, yeah. part of you was yeah, like, hey, yeah. you guys sure you didn't want me? Yeah, yeah. That, that feels good to go into someone's uh, house or playing against a school that you really wanted to go to and and perform well. So, yeah, it felt good to uh, perform well in these games. But, um... You still can't yeah, come complacent, so I'm always trying to get better. I can get over 100 yards, I think, in the first half against Coastal last year. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and that was my birthday, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed early, too. You were talking about your weight, 194. What was the story behind it? Um, uh, Coach Kamish, the recruiting coordinator at the time, told me I had to be 5'9", 195, and I had a scholarship to Boston College. And what were you? 5'9", 195. <laughs> <laughs> How far below would I get to think you have to have been before that? Yeah, I think we're going to be as good as 185. Yeah, maybe if I was about 185, 190, they probably would have been like, that's not what we're looking for. So, I don't know. I'm just glad it worked out the way it did. Did, did they offer you a weight? Or yeah, did they come really late. Off? Yeah. A week before signing there, that's when I got the offer. Who else was supposed to you at that point? Just, I was committed to Duke, and I had Ball State. So. Um, he's been telling the whole offense that he's trying to push us all the way to the edge. So he's trying to open up the playbook, and whatever we can take in, that's what we're going to uh, put in on Saturday. So we're trying to be a high-powered high offense this year. How much of a 
And so you said it's a little up in the air, but when you showed up on your first practice, were you put with the running backs, or was there any time period that they, they switched to the defensive back? Or? Oh, yeah, I was uh, right with the running backs when they came in. So. Did you switch coaches during the recruitment, right? Was that one? Yeah. yeah. So did that affect anything at all? Yeah, that was uh, what made me uh, look at Boston College and even take the visit to Boston College. Because of the same uh, head coach was there, I probably wouldn't have took the visit and I would have honored my scholarship and would have went to do. And when he played last year, you got a chance to Were they booking as a running back as well or a defensive back? Yeah, Duke. Before the uh, coaching change was straight running back, and then when um, Coach Cutcliffe came in, like they put it up in the air that they're going to play the best eleven, and if that meant me playing defense, then that's what it was going to be. It came from my parents, just me being young, too much energy. They wanted to put me in as much things as they could. So they ended up putting me in karate, and I ended up excelling in it, so I stayed in it. Yeah, um, that would be a great goal to accomplish this year, and it'll mean a lot more when I'm done playing football and I'm able to look back at it and see all what I have done right now. But right now I'm just focused on winning games and helping my team win. How does your style help you? I feel my running style has helped me by um, not um, taking the hit all the time. Like I'm able to like finish the run and give some of the blow back to take some of it off of my body. So. Yeah, people sometimes underestimated you, your size. But the first time you saw Buckley, did you think he was a football player? I mean, he looked like a football player, but I didn't know he was going to be like how he is right now. Uh, Luke is always around the ball, high flying, um, high energy, always trying to make the play, and he's the ultimate competitor to hate losing. And that's what you need at linebacker. And I really didn't expect all of that from Luke. He gave us more than what we expected. There was a lot of discussion uh, about the college scholarship. Johnny Swafford was talking about it today at the commissioner's meeting for changing the scholarship to cover full cost. Is there any area where you think it needs to be adjusted where you don't get money for things you really need? In, in college? Um, I've seen a couple of teammates um, come from um, parts of family where like they're not able to help them as much so I think people who really need it like as far as clothes and shoes um, I think it should be some revisions on that part to help certain people out. Have you found that those things are covered at all by the uh, Pell Grants? Or by, um, I found that some people even though they still need help um, they don't get covered by a Pell Grant like they might qualify for a loan or something when really they need more than a loan. So I think it can be worked out a little bit better. Thank you. Your backfield in high school, did you guys ever pass the ball? Do you have any need to pass the ball? <laughs> um, I mean, you weren't a wing team anyway. But. I mean, we didn't really pass the ball. We did pass the ball. It was to me or Jamie. Uh, we might throw a halfback pass a couple of times, but we really didn't pass the ball. That's why um, Kyle Parker went to our high school also, but he, he left and transferred to another one. He needed to pass the ball. <laughs> <laughs>